Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Conscious Life Expo. I'm your MC for the weekend, Robert Perella. This is, the show is produced by Robert Quicksilver. And the Conscious Life Expo is the preeminent expo featuring uh, holistic health, spirituality, the esoteric sciences, metaphysics, science, technologies, and today, of course, one of the most controversial subjects, extraterrestrials. Uh, I'm really excited for you guys. I've just had a chance to uh, actually uh, spend just a moment with Ron Amatron here um, uh, regarding uh, even my own personal experience. And uh, I will say you're in for quite a presentation. He reads the light body to see what's happening around you, who's been around you, where you may have been. You're not always completely in your body. Sometimes you're out of your body. And sometimes you're with extraterrestrials and you don't even know it. And he's one of the people that will uh, show you what that's about. Um, from personal experience, just really quick, I'll just be very brief. Um, some of you saw my presentation and saw and know that I had contact with this when I was 21 years old. A photograph here is taken by Jeff Greenshaw in 1978. Um, regarding this uh, encounter, um, he was able to read this photo. I was really amazed how he was able to draw out what this photo was about because only I know about the photo. Or if you read my book, you would know about my story. He was very, very good. I must say that uh, the psychic abilities and his intuitive gifts are definitely by the creator itself. You're going to learn about the creator, um, the creative light ship, and you're going to learn about your own active um, body um, light healing and find out what you're about and what your involvement is with extraterrestrials. So without further ado, brace for impact, fasten your safety, <laughs> safety belts. This is Ron Amatron. Yay. Thank you. Okay, can you hear me without uh, the microphone? Yep. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So, put this over here. Okay, so the first thing is, is that if you don't know this, there's two energies, basically. There's the light and the darkness. And most of the spiritual teachings talk about out of the darkness came the light. And that isn't necessarily true. So the light only creates light. And the darkness creates darkness. Now, what is true about that is that at ascension time, the light does turn off itself, which means that if you take the light bulbs in this room here and you flip the switch down, there's darkness. So we'll just call that the void. And during that process of ascension, the light finds the parts of itself, the particles of itself, and it has to go into the dark side universes to find the parts that were stolen and uh, also much worse things happen to these energies, but they look for your spirit, if you want to use the word soul, uh, your body, spirit, your body, soul, the parts of your body. So whatever the aliens have stolen, the light looks for that for whatever amount of time is needed. And then at that point, the light gets turned back on again. And then the creation of light starts over. And on this planet here, we, are, we have a 2,000 year cyclic interval of time. The last person who was here was Jesus to do the ascension process. And Jesus was here to clear away the densities out of people's bodies so that the physical body could hold more spirit energy. And the spirit energy being of light would help the body do this transformation. So it's kind of as simple as that. The darkness that I talk about, the, maybe the, the dark ETs, and there are some ETs that may be good, uh, but I normally deal with the ones that are negative. And they don't have spirits or souls in their bodies, so they're just a different life form. Now, as far as the way the light is concerned, the light doesn't care what is out there in different universes. It just creates light and you experience light energies without emotion. Here we have emotions. Why do we have emotions? It's because you and your ancestors chose to judge the light to get into duality. And by doing so, then you got into time, and these aliens control time. And in time, you have your, your learning lessons. 
which is in your DNA. So what happened is the, the aliens gave you DNA in your body to store all of your thoughts, and that's passed on to you. So you're living the life of your ancestors. So in one sense, you're living all of those lives at once. Now, if you notice uh, a young child, a baby, they, they're not caught into or, or trapped into the mind energy yet until they start to learn how to live here. Before then, they're in source energy with their spirit. And as they start learning yes and no, stop, go, they start getting into rules and regulations. And when that happens, you have now the mind trap going on. So everybody here has programming in them, DNA programming. Uh, what I'll do is a clearing briefly here. It'll be what I have on my website. It's a 2,000 year of darkness barcode. So from the time of Jesus, the, uh, the ascension process uh, took very few people. The earth spirit was planning to leave this planet. Right now it's no longer here, it left. Uh, it only had about 17% of its spirit energy with it, it, and it couldn't find anything more, so it left, and it's out looking for uh, basically the other 83% of it. So what's in this planet now is space holders from light. And so the earth spirit is gone. It's already doing its ascension process. So the 2000 year bar uh, darkness barcode was put on everybody who was living to keep them numbed out or to become activated to look for, say, quote, quote, new age teachings to divert yourself from going inside of yourself to find your own spirituality. And like I say, you just need one book with one page and that would say go within. Very, very simple. Instead, people are doing different types of energetic transmissions and attunements and channeling this and that and the other, bringing the energies into the room. Whenever that happens, you're being hooked up by the alien agenda. And it could be the, the greatest uh, looking person, the, the most well-intended person doing this. But once they start bringing in the energies from outside of themselves and outside of yourself, you're getting hooked up to the mind control energies, the matrix. And that's the sad part. So what I talk about here basically is something that is bucking the whole New Age movement because the light does not channel. And the light cannot channel because if it did channel and give information out into words for somebody to, go, to talk to someone else about or to put out DVDs or videos or whatever, you know, you've heard of people doing angel channeling and channeling Archangel Michael and then Buddha and the whole gamut of, of these divine masters. Well, all this energy is from the light of the darkness. It's not source, because source cannot judge. Source never judges anything or its creations. It's strictly free will, free choice, with no emotions. So what I'm going to do now is, is bring some energy in here. And this is source energy coming to you, and it only works through your spirit. It doesn't work through mind energy. The mind energy is what you normally tap into. So what we'll first do is uh, I'll count to five. I have to command the energy to come to you. And uh, it'll come. Here it comes. One, two, three, four, five. And right now you're having some releases done to your body to get rid of the barcode that was put on to you to numb yourself out for the ascension process. And you might feel your body changing slightly as this is happening. Do it again, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and again, one, two, three, four, five. And again, one, two, three, four, five. So the healings that I do for people work from source energy to your own spirit. And your spirit does the work for you. All I can do is charge up your spirit, awaken your own spirit with you. If, you have, if you're out of your body or you have no spirit in your body, the healings that I do will not work. It's not using mind energy. So you may say, well, how do other practitioners do healings if they read a book, say on Reiki or something else, how does that healing work? Well, the darkness gave you the problem. They gave you the problem with your DNA. And so that since the darkness gave it to you, it can take it away. And the darkness can heal, typically, because of that, faster than the light. The light works moment 
by moment by moment, with no memory of the past. So as I'm talking to you right now, I live in the moment. I live out of time. I don't live in your time-based reality. So I live in source energy, and I did not come into time to be controlled by the aliens here. And I never chose to deal with aliens uh, until I had to deal with this problem of people having troubles and abductions, et cetera, with the alien agenda here. But that was not what I chose to come here to do. I just kind of got sidetracked in a sense and led there. Now it's like full-blown alien stuff that I'm doing, which can be very scary for people. So this workshop is about decloning people. That's one of the things. Uh, you can ask questions if you wish. I don't mind having questions. But what I will say is that the light created its own reality and so did the darkness. So we're looking at two different energies completely and the darkness came into the light to steal your spirit, your soul, your body, and parts of you, anything of light it wants to get because it can use that energy to live off of. And that's what they do. Any questions? Are you saying basically that it's a parasite? A parasite? It's living off the host. Yes, and, and you're the host. So you're like the, uh, you know, the poor the poor pigs and cows here that we, or some people, you know, eat every day. Yes? That's my spirit and my body. Yes, it is. Okay. Well, yes? You said something about not having a soul. How, how can you know when someone doesn't have a soul? Oh, okay. Very good question. Thank you. Uh, if you look at somebody and their eyes are glossed over, they look kind of dead looking. Uh, you know, a corpse, okay, then they're not home. Uh, then they're not in their body. It's possible that the spirit or their spirit could be outside of their body waiting to come in. Okay, that's a possibility. Uh, you leave your body when you're in a lot of pain. Okay, so your eyes might get glossed over. Uh, people in hospitals are out of their body a lot if they're, you know, in the process of dying. You can look at their eyes and they're all kind of like lifeless. Okay, you can see that. Uh, or maybe you've taken too many drugs. So if you, if you have taken too many drugs or alcohol, then entities come into you, and the entities will never look out of your eyes, but they will have the body experience. And your eyes get duller and duller looking at some point, okay? okay. But typically, you should be in your body. Uh, so let's see here. Anything else, Carrie, that I should bring up before we get started here? No. Okay. Okay, so uh, this, this is going to be very interesting for you to see people becoming decloned. So I'll talk about that. You're controlled by the aliens, the alien agenda. Uh, governments are controlled by the alien agenda, different levels of consciousness, different beings coming. Some are physical, some shape shift into bodies, some take on physical appearance. I don't get into government stuff that much. You know, that's all on this planet, okay? People that are ruling other people. Uh, so what you have is time. So what I have discovered is that everybody gets cloned out, in and out, every 10 minutes. And so that means that in 10 minutes from now, if you just changed, you will be a different person in 10 minutes, looking the same. So the way it works is uh, the alien cell, we'll just use the word cell, time, time sharing, okay? And so we live in time here. And they sell blocks of time, maybe every 10 minutes in length, to different alien races or, or uh, different uh, 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 maybe uh, uh, venues within their same race, OK? So every 10 minutes, you are a different person. And what they do is they stop time. So some of you might be getting a little bit lost here, but I'll go a little bit further here. If you ever lost your keys, Okay, so, or a wallet, or a coat, or shoes. Well, that means that you are more than likely uh, on a different timeline. So I use the word timeline and parallel lives as the same thing, because they are, okay? So, have you ever had a car show up alongside of you, or beside you, or in front of you when you're driving, and it just popped in, okay? 
Have you ever had deja vu? Okay. So what are those? Uh, typically, you are living a life uh, in that 10-minute segment, okay? And when you get switched out, they somehow are able to control time and stop time. Everything is in, 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 in stopped completely, like on pause. And if they're changing you out, then the old you, that 10 minutes of you, uh, the record of you, the way you look, what you're seeing out of your eyes, this holographic image of everything is now transferred to the next alien race that is controlling you. And you ha have basically a two-week memory. Now, if you need more, they can find more for you. But basically, you have a two-week memory. Now, as you change out and you come back in again, that's when you kind of like jerk your body slightly, maybe you blink your eyes, maybe you yawn, uh, maybe you feel maybe just not quite right for about five seconds, and then everything gets put online and now you're going again with another alien race controlling you, living off of your life force energy. Are you talking about a transfer of ownership? Is it they own you, yes. You are owned by them for that 10 minutes, yes. You're robotically controlled by them. Okay. Uh, the next thing is, is that if people show up next to you or you lose your keys or something like that, it's because it's on a different timeline than what you're living right now. And so they could appear to you if you bring that, your keys back to you by going to that timeline in the future, in your future, which could be a day or two, and all of a sudden they show up. Uh, maybe on your kitchen table or something, and you look there, and now it's where it used to be, and it's still there now because you brought it back from a timeline. Now, on the timeline that it's on, it's still there, and you're still living that timeline. So you can live multiple lives at once. Making sense so far? Yes. Okay. So the, the cloning process is they have to replicate you identically. And when they stop time, since they're control of time, for us it could be a year. Let's just say that they have a year to fix, make your glasses perfect and put your right coat on and get the watch in the right place. But maybe they miss something. Maybe the person doing the cosmetic work on your body and recreating that missed a step. Maybe it's a beginner. And so all of a sudden, you know, you're, you're, you, you, you switch and you're, all of a sudden you're Holding does this here on you, and you go, oh, how did that get like that? Oh, I must have moved, and it moved. Well, they, they made a mistake. Well, they didn't bring something into your room, which is like your keys, okay? Or maybe they, they had you uh, have something extra. Maybe you reached into your pocket, and you found an extra $10 bill. You go, where'd this come from? Okay? Same thing. You can lose it or gain something, okay? Uh, what, we, what some people have actually done is they've asked to have smarter clones. Okay, and this has worked. People have had good success with this here. So, uh, I'm gonna do the cloning process here. I need some volunteers. And what, you, what I'm gonna do is declone you in front here, and the people out here watch you physically change. How many so, volunteers? Uh, I'll probably run about four, four or five groups through here. Then we'll do the whole room. So, if we can get maybe like 10 people, it'd be fine. Now what you're going to experience uh, as you're standing there, I'm going to be counting uh, just numbers, one, two, three, four, five, you know, et cetera, okay? And what you're going to actually feel, you might feel your body jerk or twist. Uh, you might feel a little strange, okay? Because I'm taking you in and out really fast. So the alien races are going crazy, but they're stopping time because when you're Okay, what happens, what's going to happen to your body when I do this? Remember, it's going somewhere. The light ship, source energy is taking you. Okay? Otherwise, what are the alien races doing with your body every 10 minutes? You could be on a lunch, uh, you know, buffet someplace, okay? Or worse. <laughs> I don't know if it would be worse or not, but. <laughs> so anyway, as, as you get replaced, the light ship is taking you and you're in source energy, the body, because your body's precious. Okay? Now, you might, the people out here, I want you to watch the ones here. You might find your physical body 
uh, getting taller, shorter, you might feel your complexion changing. Almost always you feel your fingers and your hands getting warmer and you, they, you get more moisture because you're becoming more real. So each time I, I bring a clone or take a clone away, then the next one comes in, you're getting more spirit energy into your body because we held the last spirit part of you and it's going into the next clone. And then when I make you real, then you're going to be real. And now I want you to look at each other, kind of see how everybody looks. And everybody in the audience here, just, just pick one person and, and just kind of watch them. And we'll start here. Now if you notice, the people out here who have not been decloned yet from the, the last uh, couple of days, and they're probably still holding pretty well, you're going to notice that they're going to look real to you where everybody else will look like mannequins, artificial intelligent bodies, okay? We're going to perceive you're going to, oh, you will perceive this. But not right now. Not right now, because you're still a clone. A, you're a clone looking at a clone, okay? Clone at a clone. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. So uh, look for people jerking and look for people changing. Maybe their clothes will change on their body, could change colors. Here we go. So first clone out, second out, third, fourth, fifth, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, how are you people feeling? Your body Hot. changing? Hot. Hot. Okay. Hot. Warm. Aha, yeah. uh -huh. see they're becoming more human. Here we go. Uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, see he's having a reaction, which is fine. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 110. 1, 2, 3, okay, there we go. You guys feel pretty good. Coming into your body, the real you. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, how are you people feeling? Hot. Okay, how do the people out here look to you? Do they look like they're in a fishbowl? Kind of like you're looking at a, at a movie and you've got your popcorn in your hand watching these people. They don't look real, do they? Now look at each other. You guys glowing? You guys look better, right? Everybody, do, do, uh, they have an, uh, you have an energy signature. Yeah, now look out here again. How do they look? It's like you just landed to a strange planet. This guy looks different. He looks different to me than all the other ones. Yeah, he's got a different energy. Yeah, Now the clone. Oh, I see you're saying kind of. Yeah, okay. Anybody else want to comment? How long are they going to stay out of our body? Uh, that I can't say. I can't say. The more you think, the more they're going to attach to you. Remember, when you think, you choose darkness. Okay. What do you think of this? Okay. Especially when. Shivers. Shivers, okay. Okay. Next group. Now now your physical problems that you have. So what happens to us after we you 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 got part of you back, okay? So
Okay. So, boy, we got a lot of people. Okay. Yes. You mentioned moisture in the body when you have more spirit. So does that mean dehydration is your spirit leaving you? Uh, possibly. Possibly, yeah. So, you guys ready? Okay, so, so what did you notice with the people that were up here before? Did you see their, see their bodies jerk or change or twitch or their heights change, clothing change, color sometimes? Anybody like to elaborate on what you saw? Well, it's keeping balance. I mean, you know, moving around from front to back. Okay. So then if you were just trying to stay and hold your balance. Yeah. When you're declining, what is exactly I'm taking out of... Your bones hold your physical body, okay? So I'm changing, uh, I'm t bringing in, into you your next clone from an alien race. So the alien race that you are right now, uh, we'll just say it's alien race A, okay? And when I take count to, from one, and that alien race A now's clone is being released to source energy. Okay, but time has stopped. But we think it's linear. And nobody, and you're not here, and we are, but time has stopped. But we can't see that. We don't have that perception. And then the next alien race comes in and takes the blueprint from the previous one on what you were physically seeing, this room, everybody in it, and your body, recreates everything, and drops it in for your consciousness. Are they doing it for them or us? Who are they? The, the ones in control of making clones for you? Right. They're doing it to take your life force energy from you. Okay, they're not your spirit doing energy. Okay. They're, they're not doing it to help you. They, they just found a way to timeshare you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, you guys ready? Yeah. Uh, I'll first do 10. Maybe I'll come over here and watch. <laughs> <laughs> so, here we go, everybody. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And how are you feeling? Warm. Warm. Okay. Feel your hands. Okay. Are, are they a little more moisture? Do they feel a little more real to you? More, more texture? Okay. Here we go. Uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that thirty? Yes. Okay, I'm out of time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. One. Okay, the gentleman with the glasses there just. The one next to him. This man here just uh, became, the last clone left him. I'm going to make him real. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. <laughs> so here we go. We continue on here. So 70. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one twenty. I'm still going because I'm going to get to the last person. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one forty. One, two, th okay, there we go. Coming in. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, how does your bodies feel? Anybody have less pain in their body? Less stiffness? Lighter, okay. Remember the clones? The initial clone that you had before I started, if it had a problem, it was passed on to all of those clones. Remember, they have to make you uh, 
in the image and likeness of you, okay? Which means that if you had a pain, that pain is passed on to the next clone. Now, when you become real, your original body, your, your real body, probably doesn't have that condition. So want to move your hands and your shoulders, just kind of see if you have a little more movement. But your arthritis doesn't go away, does it? It, it possibly could. It, it all depends how, how your energetic bodies are affecting you. Is your heart supposed to like quiver? Anything could happen. Anything, Anything could happen, yes. Uh huh. Okay, how do the people out here look? Anybody, see, can you see the difference between the, the clone and uncloned people? In the audience? Yes, in, in the audience here. <laughs> well, let's see, I invited one lady up, and I think she wants to, but she was a little scared. So how does she look? She looks, um, I seen her in the light earlier last. I think she looks a little less glowing than I thought she did before. <laughs> okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, everybody. So how do you feel? Okay, so when you're here, the, the two hours out of the month, that's when you have all your inspiration. And you have that now? Do you feel like you can set the world on fire? Have a whole different mindset, like, well, I'm here, I'm going to do this and that. That's what happens. Right now, or just at least sometime we have expected? Uh, right now, and it all depends when you get cloned out again. Right now, you're human. You're, you're human on this planet, okay? And they'll dehumanize us as time goes by? Yes, as you start thinking more and get into more judgment. Remember, it's up to you to choose to be in the light, which means no thoughts, no judgment, right? Your thoughts judge, correct? So when you judge, that connects you to the alien agenda because they know that judgment is going to come into you, and they like to get the judgments that you emit energetically, which will be your emotions. So your judgments are causing your emotions, and they live up your emotions. Okay? That opens, the door. that opens the door. So you say, how do I stay human? Which might be a, a hard question, you know, but, but how do I get, hold more light? Okay, well, you don't think. <laughs> Got it? Okay. Yep. Okay, next group. Yep, you're welcome. Thank you. Uh-huh. Hi. Where's that step, Michael? That's a rough one. You gotta kind of be careful there. There. I should get some buttons. I've been decloned. <laughs> I'm human. Who are you? <laughs> okay, I'll just go back here again. So here we go. You guys ready? I don't know if I'll. I'll probably be in the way of the camera here. So let's get here. Here, right here. This is good. Okay, so everybody, watch them again. This is for your experience. Okay, to see how they look. So just check them out. And a few of these people have already been uh, worked with, so they may look a little different. May not change too much, okay? So here we go. And I'll, I'll, I'll do 10 clones at first, and, and naturally notice the people in the audience. Most of the people have been decloned here, but look for the ones that look kind of weird. Okay, those are the ones that haven't had anything done, because they're aliens. Okay, remember, you got humans and aliens, right? So the clone bodies are alien bodies here. Artificial intelligent bodies, you know, you have to say it the way it is, right? That's, that's, that's it. So here we go. Coming out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, and 10, okay, and kind of feel your hands, see if you have a little more moisture in them. That's normally a really good indication that you're feeling different. You might feel hot, might get sweaty, okay, and uh, might feel like an energy surge because you're becoming more of who you are. Here we go. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, which is 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay. Uh, a uh, few of the people already stopped, but the lady just, just changed here on the right side, so I'm going to bring her in. Ready? You. Yeah. <laughs> One. No. Oh, you're okay. You just stand there. One, two, three, four, five. There. Okay. And so now she is human. And if you look at the other people there, she'll be glowing more than the other people. Do you see it? Yes. Did you see me before? Okay. Wow, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bravo. Yeah. Bravo. Okay, here we go. Uh, I think I'm on 70. Is that correct? Or 80? 80. 80. Great. Thank you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 110. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 200. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, oh, there we go. Stop. My voice stops automatically. Okay. Here we go. Coming real, everybody. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There. So, how do you people feel? Feel better? Yes. Any less aches and pains? More, more alive. More alive. Yeah. yeah. That's true, more alive. Okay, do you, uh, put your hands, just do this here and just see how much energy you have. I'm just kind of curious. I feel like your hands are buzzing up there and everybody else has been decloned. Feel more present in your body? And you, you, sh you might feel a lot heavier too. More feeling. More feeling, okay. And how do the people out here look now? Can you see the difference? Even more so? We should get somebody from outside walk in here. It might scare everybody. This An alien! Right here really changed in my when I was looking at her. Okay, which one? The one with the um, black top. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, I, I want to just ask, ask you a question here, which I haven't asked before. Uh, think of a thought now that something that happened maybe a half an hour ago, half an hour, uh, hour to half an hour ago, something like that. How does it feel to you? Does it feel really distant to you? Does it feel like, like it's not attached to you? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. see, now you're in the moment. See, when you're, when you're real, you're in the moment. You're in source energy. When you're, when you're an AI body, then you're in timelines. Okay? Are you seeing anything when you're doing that yourself? What are you seeing? Uh, I turn off about uh, almost all of it. I, 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 yeah, I, I can see everything. I just turn it off. I just know that I'm doing this. <laughs> so if I need to look, I can, but I, I, I mean, I, I don't need to. <laughs> okay. Okay. You can come, come and sit down again. Thank you, Ron. You're welcome. Oh, I should probably stay here, huh? <laughs> Okay. Yep. Okay. Anybody else want to do this? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Come on up. Anybody else who uh, is left?
Oh, there's some more coming. Well, I think maybe we lost a few people. <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully they, had, hopefully they got the clone. But remember, they, they okay, I'll, I'll, uh, I'm assuming that they did not go through this process. I, I don't know. But if they did not, why did they leave the room? Number one, the alien race says, get the hell out of there, man. You're taking my time sharing away from me. Okay. But we just took away, what, 250 or so, something like that time sharing just from the last group. Okay. So I don't think they're very ha happy, but uh, they just lost their, their time sharing. Where do they go? To, there's not, they will cling on to someone you had not been clear. Do they just go to the ether? Where do they go? Oh, uh, you mean the clones? The, the clones that I'm, I'm releasing? Yes. They're, they're going to light. They go to the light. They're, they're going right to the light. They won't be getting uh, uh, used somewhere else. Would you say they're getting recycled? No. They won't be recycled, no. Okay. But, uh, and uh, it's the best thing for the clones. Right. Okay. Otherwise, uh, you have to look at it. Uh, what do, you know, if there's that many clones, if you switch out every 10 minutes, every hour for your whole life, that's a lot of clones. What do they do with them? So you can just use your imagination. Wow. Are you in a storehouse someplace? Are you in a prison camp? You know, you know, you're in you're in dark side universes, and what are they doing to you? You know, the, the most obvious thing to me is that you're probably in the food chain someplace. You're what? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to hear this. Okay, yeah, if you, you, yeah. You don't. You don't. You don't. Remember, you chose to think. Your ancestors chose to think. Okay? Is it the alien's fault that, that you're thinking? No. You mean that you were initially in the food chain? You probably have always been in the food chain because your ancestors chose thought. Your ancestors divorced themselves away from light. They chose darkness, which is mind energy, and they wanted to have the experience of thinking. I mean, this used to be a light planet. Now I'm talking about light versus darkness. And the humans here made it available, and the aliens also brought in darkness here, and they probably enticed the initial humans here to think to go through emotions. On a light planet, there's no emotions. Nothing ever dies. You just take your energy out of a blueprint. Okay, and there's no thoughts. And so the people here on this planet have chosen to choose darkness to think, and in the process of doing that, then you get taken out onto timelines and parallel lives. And this is what the aliens have probably figured out to, and de 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 design things and ways to attract you into using your life force energy because you have a little spirit in you and they want that spirit energy. Well, how do we exercise being creator gods in our individuality here apart from thinking? You don't need to do that. You're already it. You never look out. Like I say, you just need one book, one page, go within. Okay, it's that simple. That's how you keep the light within you and just go within. Yep. And get off timeline. Just be in the back there. Well, how is it possible to live in this material world without thinking? If everybody didn't, it, it's, it's difficult. I have a hard time living here. Yeah, if everybody, if, if groups of people were to not think, then everybody else would not want to think because you wouldn't see those people in the pain and trauma and emotional situations. You can still live without thinking. But why would you want to? That's the trap that you got stuck into. Do you want to be, okay, the why, that's the perfect thing. Why would you want not to think? Okay, right? 
Do you want to be in peace? I want to get uncontrolled by the aliens. Yes, and you could be, yeah, you're, you're, you're out of their control when you don't think, and also you're at peace. Do you want to have peace? Isn't anybody, everybody on the planet is looking for peace, right? right? They have wars to make peace. They kill everybody to make peace, mm -hmm. right? Because somebody has, is trying to overrule somebody else. But the bottom line is, do you want to be peaceful? Are you peaceful now, the ones that are holding? Do you feel peace in you? Yes. Okay. Isn't that what you want to have? Yes. You don't have to think. You're peaceful. You can How still you do things. Huh? How are you going to hold a job if you don't think? Your body will know how to do that automatically, whatever you're doing. You don't need jobs when, when you're in yes. pure life. It, it's, you know, my experience has been, unfortunately, I've been trained with the intellect, I've trained with the left brain, and I've been doing way too much thinking. A little bit louder? Uh, unfortunately, I've been trained a lot with the left brain, and I've been doing I've spent a lot of time too much thinking, identifying with my intellect. Um, as I understood what you were doing, especially with the heart drop, is you take the mind, you drop it into the center of the heart. Well, ultimately, I, I, and this is what I'm, I, what I'm thinking that we're supposed to be doing, and I'm trying to do it, is ultimately we're turning the heart into dormancy. See, my ego, as I'm sitting there being exposed to this stuff that was very foreign to me, and my ego is saying, no, this is wrong, you're very comfortable, you're doing very well, this doesn't work for you. But as I'm surrendering in my heart, there's something saying, no, that's it. Mm -hmm. Put this to rest, to sleep, with that heart drop in the center of that uh, consciousness, spirit, soul, energy, and then all of a sudden, listen, stop thinking, and listen, and ask the question, and keep asking, and keep that focus inside. At least that's how. Is that close to what you're? Very saying? good, very good. Okay, uh, one more, then we'll do the decloning here. Yes. <laughs> And positive energy. They feed off your emotions. You have no joy or, or I mean, what about the, the positive? I'm in neutral most of the time. Detached. I'm detached from reality here. How, how do you perceive me during this whole lecture? Neutral. 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 I'm still living. But I have to step from source energy with no timeline, okay? with no control into your timeline of duality, figure out what words to say to try to communicate to you, and then I'm by locating continuously. Okay. Okay, here we go. Great. I'll just get over here. And here we go, everybody. So you, you can face forward and if you want and just have everybody watch you. <laughs> Here we go. Hope you look nice. <laughs> Larry, your shirt's a little off. No. <laughs> here we go. So, so here we go. First clone. Out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And again, see how your body is responding, because you're a different person now. Okay. And you should feel a little warmer. Typically, most people always feel warmer. Here we go. We'll continue on. So uh, we're at 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. One, okay, uh, the lady uh, over there, uh, the second one over just, uh, just changed, okay. She has less densities, less aliens attaching to her. So here we go, coming in, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There, okay, now we'll continue on. What number was I at? 30. 30. 31. Th okay, Larry just changed. There we go, Larry. He's the one on the end here. He's the only Larry, I think. So here we go. Come in. <laughs> one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Now we'll do the other two ladies. So uh, I guess we'll start at 30 again. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 
71, 72, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. 1, 2, 3, okay, coming in, the other two people. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, so how do you people feel? Good, you feel more energized then? More natural. More natural. Okay, did anybody see them change as we were doing this here? Yes, this gentleman. My brother says that lady there in the middle, she looks like an angel. <laughs> okay, you can sit down. So I do these uh, decloning sessions on Thursdays at 5.30. It's $20. I do a one-hour session. And what I concentrate on is physical problems typically. So I work with maybe lungs and heart and bladder, <coughs> uh, maybe back aches, et cetera, different things like this here. And uh, I probably run through maybe eight to maybe a dozen uh, different types of energy works and I just count and we get rid of the clones out of all the people on a conference line. Well, I think it's worth pointing out that Larry and Sharina who only took 30 clones to become real are on your calls all the time. Yes, that is so correct. Their, their line of clones is a lot shorter than everybody else's. Yes, so the more decloning you do, uh, Typically, I can't say it's 100% true, but typically you're going to have less because there's less timelines for you to be on. So I'll talk about timelines. Okay, so you're living timelines, and if you have a problem, let's just say that you're the alien, okay, and you're looking down at the humans, and you see somebody with a backache, and they go, wow, that's a lot of energy with that backache, man. They're crying and they're trying to take some pills or get drunk or something to get rid of the pain. And uh, this is a great feeding station for me. So this alien now tells, or you tell another alien group, boy, I found this nice specimen down here. So all of a sudden, all these alien races, it gets put out maybe on, the, uh, on their TV station, right? You know, alien YouTube. Man, Joe's a hot specimen right now. And everybody says, okay, we'll sign up. And they all get timeline sharing for you on timelines. So they have to reconstruct your whole life and everything around you as the hologram, like we talked about earlier. Okay? And they have you for 10 minutes. So how many aliens have you? How many timelines are they putting you on? Each alien race controls a timeline. Is there a thousand races, a thousand timelines? And they can also somehow be able to copy and paste a timeline onto you. So maybe for some reason they want to double your pain so they can copy and paste one. Now let's say that uh, another scenario happens where you're out living a different life entirely with, the, with your body, okay, and that body resonates to your clone, okay, and maybe you're out uh, running, uh, 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 jogging, or, or just running hard. Maybe you're scared to death and you're running for your life, and you're doing this in your dream state, and you wake up in the morning, and maybe you have, uh, maybe you went through some berry vines on this parallel life, and maybe they saw that and they put you into another. 500 parallel lives. And you wake up in the morning, you have a cut on you from the berry vine from you being out there because it got transferred down here. Maybe you woke up in the morning and you have a bruise on your body. How did I get this bruise? I didn't run anything in the last couple of days. Well, that's a real timeline that you were living and somehow it got superimposed into this one. So that's your dream states and that's your de deja vu when you're awake, okay? These are all real. All predictions, all prophecies are real on a timeline. Will it occur here on this timeline? Don't know. 
can, can they superimpose it onto this timeline? Yes. I had a question here. Yes, what about when you're sleeping? When you're sleeping? Mm -hmm. Okay, when you're sleeping, you should not leave your body with your spirit, but unfortunately, your spirit leaves, uh, which could be conditioning. Because naturally, I can ask all of you, have you talked to your spirit today? Most no. people will say, what are you talking about? I don't talk to my spirit. Need a battery? Yeah. put it on pause here. Have the aliens pause us out, huh? Well, Siva, I got too much stuff here. You got too many pockets. It's not there. You got cloned out. Yeah, it's, it's out on Universe A, <laughs> the Twilight Zone. I don't know where my little pouch went. Well, I guess that's it. It'll be on the video. So, what happens is, where, where were we? Uh, Dreaming. Okay, okay. So, if you haven't talked to your spirit, then is it going to want to hang around at night when you're sleeping? You're not going to talk to it then, for sure. Mm -hmm. So, it gives it the, the chance to lead. Now, it could get abducted also. But basically, you know, why would it want to talk to you when you're not conscious? So, so, so we'll talk about, what's that? How do you get your spirit to stay in your body while you're asleep? Well, you can ask it and keep asking it to. Just keep yeah, but remember, it can only connect to you when you're conscious. Okay? Can it protect us? Uh, a little bit that it has, possibly. Normally not, but a little bit it could, yes. Uh -huh. I don't want to sound like it's, you know, that bad here. <laughs> I have to give you a little bit of hope, right? Yeah. <laughs> You can't. You can't? No. Because you live in time. You're in the soup. You can't get out of the soup bowl. The only way I can do this is because I don't live in time. I'm seeing you as looking at all these people here, you people as in the fish bowl. I'm outside the fish bowl. But you can work you on, on reducing your judgment. Did you have any special training to do that? Yeah, I have a lot of clearings on my website to help you. Lots of clearings. And what you need first to maybe slow down your abductions, because they, why do they get you? You live in duality, right? You live in judgment. So I have an emotional clearing. And you want to do a whole lifetime emotional clearing to make your life better. So that's what I'd recommend doing. Takes about 20 minutes on, online to do it. My website is is active continuously, 24/7. So you just use PayPal, do a clearing. It's all online. All the energies on the computer runs through my body and goes into the computer. And you see a light beam come up, and that energy uh, comes into you to help you heal. So you have to have a light beam turned on in your room to do that. Should we do that daily? Uh, the, the, the first clearing, you do a whole lifetime one. In fact, uh, everybody think of an emotional situation that you've had. Okay, let me know, uh, are, do you all have one? Yeah. Okay, you ready to have it released? Yeah. Here you go. Look at it now. Is it, <sighs> is it down 80, 90% from what it was? Can I think of another one? Ready? Gone. Okay. Thank you. Okay, next one. Ready? Gone. Next one. Gone. Next one. Gone. Next one. We have to dig deep now. <laughs> okay. Next one. Gone. And another one, gone. So see, you were living your storyline. And what you brought up is your storyline that probably has the most trauma in it, we'll say, OK? The things that's bugging you the most, or whatever that would be, that's your storyline. 
So now your storyline has changed. But remember, every time you have a thought, that's stored inside of your body as an emotion. So your emotions create a problem inside of your body which will kill you. So just by releasing you know, these few emotional situations, you feel a lot better. Just think if your whole lifetime was cleared. So people say, do I have to clear all of my DNA? No. Just what came up in this lifetime so far. The rest is just sitting there, not activated yet. And it gets activated by you watching TV, going to movies. Uh, whatever you see will activate your past. It doesn't have to be the same situation, but it could be a very similar situation. Uh, how many of you watch movies in a the movie theater and you get really tense and you're hanging on to the chair and you're doing this, that, and oh God, oh, right? Well, you're experiencing that from either parallel lifetimes, okay, or your ancestors, but the bottom line is, is that you have that program in you and you're responding to it. So that's your stuff. I go to movies to see what's happening. I just observe them. And I like watching the alien movies, whatever is new coming down the pike, to see what the heck they're going to be doing here because they normally show the different alien races will come forth and maybe work with a producer, maybe not consciously, where they shake the person's hand, but they will channel to that person the ideas to put out a movie. So let's say you have alien race uh, W over here who wants to put out a movie to the, to, for us to watch because they want to outdo alien Z race and they say we're going to show you guys what we can do down here and they put out the movies. I can't really get into the government stuff only because so far I'm protected and I can only go so far with what I can tell you. I may not know too much, but uh, 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 what I can say is a lot of the people that are in media, okay, and uh, figures out there uh, that you see all the time are probably a cloned body. Okay, now let me describe that to you. What I did for you in here was take out your clones because you have them coming in and out every 10 minutes. Okay? Now there are people that somehow are connected some way and they are able to have a body up here all the time that is a true artificial intelligent body that never ages or they may make it age as time goes on because they need to do that. See, you may have seen movie stars in the tabloids, okay, that all of a sudden you see them or you see a movie and they look younger and you think, oh, just the, the makeup artist did this here. Or I see a picture and, oh, that has to be Photoshop. And, but yet they look a lot younger than what they did maybe the last couple of months or something. So if I'm not mistaken, for what I got a hit on once, uh, I think it cost about $10 million to go through that process to have the rights to have your body cloned. And they will be up here on the surface living. Now where's the real body? Okay, they're down below in underground cities, just like shopping malls, having a great time. And I don't think they really talk to anybody too much because uh, there's no need to really talk, to, tell, to say their experiences. They might uh, perform, if they're an artist, they might want to perform to other people because they enjoy doing that. And you know, that's kind of as far as I can go with this here, okay? But uh, most of the ones like we're talking about, which would be you people and, and humanity here, will be cloned out all the time. And the more emotional you are, the more they have you hooked up because they want to get more energy off of you. But 
they have they get that energy from both like happiness or sadness. It's an emotion. 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 Doesn't matter. People say, isn't good emotions good? Is they gonna give you a happy from smiling and laughing and of course it's an emotion. You're emitting energy. Okay? When you're in peace, you don't emit energy. Yes. I had a situation. I've done all these clearings. I've done the whole life emotional clearing. And um, during the move, a number of very, very challenging to me things happened. And finally, I went into a total and complete absolute rage. I saw what I was doing. I knew what I was doing. In the middle of it, I knew I'm feeding these guys big time. Mm -hmm. But the body felt like it just had to do that to release or whatever it was that was wanting to be released. Okay. So my question is, is there anything different that I could have or should have done than just sit in the car and go into a huge okay. rage? Yeah, yeah. W what probably happened was is that they put you onto a program that they had for you, okay, and they kept putting different clones in to experience the rage that you were dealing with. So you had really no control of what you're doing. Yeah. I didn't have any control. Yes. I was in a situation um, um, of family and that are not on this walk. They're you know, religious and all the other things, and we were in a group meeting. And um, all of a sudden, it's like I just felt this zombie spirit. It's like everybody's asleep and you're awake, you know, and you're around everybody, and it's like they're not there. They go, they're just not, they're not conscious, okay. But I, I just got all of us, I had to get out of the room. Well, you, you probably had a lot of uh, uh, bodies in there that may have been artificial intelligence and you didn't want to relate to them. Oh, uh, well, one works for Microsoft. There you go. Okay, well. And that's the one I was, I was looking at. And I had, and a split second, and I really didn't know that much. Oh, I've been reading about cloning around. But he wasn't home. I mean, he was not home. You know what I mean? Like what you said? Yeah. It's like, exactly what I experienced. I don't know where I got that term, but it's just like, mm -hmm. it's not there, look at the eyes. So I don't know what happened to me. So you're with, in a sense, like zombies. Sure. But they're actually, and you know, I, AI, AI bodies, yeah. Want to take on their energy, but obviously I did something happen. Oh, you didn't want them to take you on. <laughs> and I had, but for the whole next couple of days, it's like a family reunion type thing, I'll try to get out of it. So I just told my cat a headache or whatever. And I could not get out of that awful space that I was in. I didn't know. Well, if you couldn't get out of the space, it means that you were probably abducted onto more timelines. So you're living those timelines even though you were out of the situation here. So you're still probably, you, you probably backed out of your role here, but on the other timelines, you probably were still hooked up to them. Okay. Yes? Wouldn't your heart drop be a good tool to use in a situation like that? Yeah, I'll do that right now. So. Uh, I can only give you a couple of tools. This is one of them. We're going to do the mind to heart drop. And you have to command your spirit. If you don't command your spirit, you're going to be in the path of the darkness because you're using mind energy. So what you want to do is command your spirit. This I'll do for you right now, but when you leave here, you have to do it yourself. You have to command your spirit, typically just out loud or whisper, to take the thoughts inside of your head, which is darkness, but the, your mind is actually okay. Your mind is not your enemy, but it holds the charges of stuff that's gonna you know, basically kill you. But the mind is just, just like your hard drive and your computer. Is it good or bad? Well, it just does what it does. So here we go. And you can use the mind if you get into your heart, because your heart will think. Okay, so you're not like a robot. Okay, here we go. So dropping down, this is the mind to heart drop, so this is just command your spirit to drop your, your awakening consciousness, your thoughts into your heart. We'll drop down and go from 10 to 1 backwards. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
10986545321. So if you notice right now, you are in your heart with your spirit, and your spirit cannot judge because it's source energy, which means that you have no thoughts. And if you think of a positive thought or a negative thought, it just won't exist there. And most people can only stay there for about 10 seconds at first. Some people can stay there after they practice this for quite a while, maybe for 15, 20 minutes or so. When somebody talks to you automatically, uh, you will be probably bounced back into mind energy. Okay. If you go out to nature, and you are in your heart when you're having fun, when you're doing something that you really enjoy doing, then all of a sudden, you switch over from mind energy where you're not thinking and then you're in the energy of your spirit and that's when time stops for you. So as long as you're in time, you're connected to the alien agenda because they gave you time. The old saying, time flies when you're having fun. Okay? So that, that's when you're in your, your spirit energy. So the whole thing is your parallel lives and your timelines would be the same thing. And you can be experiencing the same exact timeline multiplied out, say, 500 to 1,000 times. You can get bleed through from that, and you can have things attached to you from it. So if you have, uh, what I'll do is some timeline crashing right now. On my website, I have a, a clearing which is free. It's called a gray sky clearing. And how much we have, since we live in time here. How much time left? Okay. On my website, I have a clearing, which is timeline, uh, I mean, uh, gray sky uh, crashing. What that does, I was in New York a couple years ago, uh, and uh, I decided to crash some timelines, and the clouds in the sky turned into like ice cubes. On the website, I have them. Go to creationlightship.com, look for photos. And you can see what happened to the sky, the clouds. They turn into ice cubes because the timelines are being broken up. What's the website again? Sorry. Creationlightship.com. So here we go. I'm going to take away some time. So I want you to have, think of a time, or think of your body with a physical pain in it. Do you have any pain in your body? Okay. Right now. Yeah, anything right now or in the past. Remember, they're still alive and wiggling if you're not experiencing it. They're still with you. But more so, think of a situation you have right now that's bothering you. It could be anything besides pain, but pain is a big one for people. Okay, you all have something? Okay. I'm going to do a timeline crash. Here we go. And, and this, this uh, whatever your situation is, where they abducted you onto a timeline, and there's maybe 10 million or so people on that same timeline under that same heading of pain or heartache or anxiety, right? They're being taken off of that timeline. This is what I call timeline crashing. So here we go. I'll count to 10 to release the timeline. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That one's gone. Next timeline, I'll do 10 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That one's gone. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That one's gone. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That one's gone. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That one's gone. Any more relief? Okay, now the timelines could take five minutes to an hour to crash. So what happens is the light goes after the aliens that created the timeline. That's the first thing, number one. So think of a timeline as like a bridge. And you're somewhere on that bridge. And the very end of the bridge is Earth. And the far end of the bridge is the aliens, where they live, where they created the timeline. So the light comes in and terminates the aliens first. Then they take off and terminate that timeline. And it, and it can take some time, you know, because they live in time and we're in time to get rid of the timeline. Everybody on that timeline gets returned back to their bodies. So you're not living a parallel life. Make sense to you? Okay, we'll do five more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There. So that's 10 timeline crashes. So my website, I think it's 20 bucks for the week or $60 for the month. If you have a physical problem or situation, do timeline crashes on it. You can do a lot of timeline crashes. You can, it's defaulted, I think, to 15 minutes. You could go down to five minutes per timeline. Okay. So you can just have five minutes in there and that'll crash a timeline? One timeline. Then you go back into it again and crash it. So you have to keep going back into the, same, the page. The same timeline. Yeah. The same timeline. Yeah, you, you write in your situation and you crash it. So if you're dealing with a physical problem, <coughs> you know, maybe you uh, hurt yourself. You know, maybe you stepped on a nail, we'll say, right, in, in, in your, well, that happened maybe on, on 500 timelines. So your body's trying to heal, and those aliens are copying and pasting those timelines here in this reality, and you don't get well. Crash that timeline. Get yourself off of those timelines that's causing you the pain, the, the problems that you're dealing with. One person uh, had a situation. Uh, I don't know what it was, but he, you know, he, he mentioned it. And uh, he mentioned that he did a thousand timeline crashes and it went away. Which means that all of a sudden, he's no longer existent. You know, his situation is not known by the aliens. He got rid of the timelines. So we can have innumerable Yes, you can. M many par yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, many parallel lives, yes of the same thing. So I'm just talking about the same situation. You do have ones of other things going on in dark side universes, but you don't know about those. I'm just talking about the ones that, that, are, that are happening to you right here, right now. You crash your yeah, oh yeah, if you have a dream, man, crash that sucker because that <laughs> bled through. You know that one's real. Okay, and normally they, they can change the dreams. They can actually, they'll advance the dreams for you so it's not so boring for you. So one might be you're driving your car and the car starts to go off the cliff and you wake up and it stops. Okay, then they go, oh, okay, well, we'll get, get them in a week from now. Now you get the same dream and you go, uh-oh, there's that cliff coming, right? And your car starts to go over the cliff and they stop it. Well, that's being sold to all the aliens. They go, hey, man, this thing's really working great here. And so get in there and crash that timeline. Do maybe 50 to 100 timeline crashes for your dream. And you're going to feel your body get eased up. You feel a little better now just by doing 10 timeline crashes? Just think if you did 100 of those. The whole thing is that the aliens are on your butt, okay? And they're here, and they're there, and they're everywhere. And uh, as long as you think, you're, you're attached to darkness. It's a pretty bold statement because everybody thinks. I don't think anybody else will tell you that, will they? <laughs> yes. Enlistment. Okay, here we go. Uh, wow. Uh, if anybody in here is interested in joining the time traveling special ops forces to fight aliens, okay the founding fathers of our constitution who are tra time traveling people how many, 10 minutes perfect thank you uh, are fighting the aliens and i'll go a little further with this here so what they have done is uh, almost everybody who has ever been enlisted in the service typically uh going back to the get-go okay typically are already enlisted so i'll describe that to you so let's just say that uh, uh, we're now in World War II, okay? And you're, say, in boot camp. And what they can say to you in boot camp, I'm just making this, this little scene up here, they can say, oh, you know, the war ended. And you go, oh, okay. And you want to re-enlist and do something else? And you go, okay, because you're under their control in a sense, right? And you say, okay. Then they'll stop time, and let's say you're having this drink of water, right? and you're, you're hearing this here, and you go, okay, and you're ready to drink it. They'll freeze time, because they were in control of time, too. They know about time travel, okay? So now you're sitting there frozen, and now they'll take your body and transport you into the future. 
And you can be trained with alien technology to fight the aliens because what we have here on this planet that uh, is known is not going to do anything to them, okay? They're so far advanced, okay? And now they're going to train you how to fight the aliens, you know, we'll just say hypothetically in, in 2100 and beyond, maybe 2300, whatever that technology is. And after your training process, then you go out and come back onto adjacent timelines to the one that we have here. Remember the movie Battle LA, okay? If you saw that, that's where the aliens come to Los Angeles and they present it as if, you know, the, the people on the ground here got rid of the aliens. Well, that's great, give you some hope. But really, if that were to happen, this place would be toast. So they're keeping those aliens from coming into your timeline that you're living on here. And there's millions, if not billions, of soldiers out there. So they recruited almost everybody on this planet, going probably back to the year 2000, okay, hypothetically. And if, and if somebody knew how to throw a spear, they're up there fighting. Now what they have is, is light ship technology. So this is a little hard to talk about because it doesn't make too much sense because the light doesn't judge, okay? But the light will find and collect itself. And so when the soldiers are out there working in duality, which the aliens are, okay? And if the soldiers get into trouble, they're representing the light because they're using light technology. They're using actual light to terminate aliens. You don't have like a gun. You may have a gun if you're maybe uh, trained and you, you're trained maybe from a, uh, a musket or something and that's what you want to use on, on a light ship. But that will shoot out light and you work out of time typically to shoot the aliens, okay? So you're going to have probably what's more accustomed to you in your lifetime. Remember, you're here having your glass of water, whatever you're drinking, okay? Now you're off, and time is frozen. And you will come back to that point in time, like World War II, right? Which, we'll say it happened, maybe they fight them for five years, okay? Then they'll bring you back instantly and erase your whole consciousness of what you've been doing. And zap, now you're here drinking your glass of water. You'll know nothing about time traveling. Okay, you as a civilian now uh, may have a little bit of bleed through from it, but people who were older, and, and you can be involved if you have uh, your parents in the military and your grandparents, you can actually sign up and be side by side with them maybe at the younger age of say 20 or whatever their age was in the service. And you're the old fart now, you know, <laughs> with them, you know, fighting side by side. So the whole process is, is, is I can bring in the energy here. You just say yes. You shouldn't have anything happening to you uh, physically here. If you do have a problem, the light ship will put you back together again, rematerialize you to find you because you're working with light. And the, the light ship will intervene if there's a problem happening uh, to you. But th they need you as a conduit to fight the darkness. Okay, does that make sense to everybody? Any questions? So what I'll do is bring in the soldiers here. Uh, it feels different each time. Uh, it might feel heavy, I don't know, but here they come. And you just have to say yes as they come in here. So one, two, three, four, and five, and they're here now. You might feel the energy. If you want to enlist, go ahead. You can always de-enlist whenever you choose to. Just say, I don't want to do this any longer. So this is, the, uh, this is the American forces that you know nothing about, that the government here on the surface probably knows nothing about, but I have had a lot of remote viewers watching me. I got two over here right now looking, okay? But I have a lot of soldiers around that are here to help out, okay? And so you can say yes if you happen to have a, a different, if you're a different culture than, than the U.S. will say, you know, maybe you want to join the, the Polish arm, army, you can do that. Uh, I myself, uh, for some reason, the Russians are very, very gentle feeling. I'll bring the, the Russian soldiers in. But you have to enlist first into the U.S. That's the clearinghouse, okay? So here we go. So this is the United States of America constitutional time-traveling founding fathers. I have to say that to make it so that it's 
what's happening, okay? Here they come. This is the Russian army, uh, defense fleet. One, two, three, four, and five. Here you know, the Russians are here. How do they feel to you? A little more peaceful, uh, happy, uh, maybe more heart-centered. Okay, I'll bring in, uh, and if you want to enlist with them, you can. Okay, and you can be a cook. You don't have to go out there and fight the aliens. Most people that fight the aliens uh, feel like they finally are accomplishing something in their life. <laughs> okay, I'll bring in, uh, uh, I'll bring in the Germans, okay. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Here we go. And I'll have to tell you how I'm bringing them in, in case you're wondering. They're coming because they want to come. I can't force anything, okay? And I'll bring in the, uh, the British. Here they come. One, two, three, four, and five. They all have their own little flavor of energies, okay? Uh, I'll bring in the Africans. These guys are big. When I first saw them, I couldn't believe it. They're, they're big. You know, you think of the big football players, you know? Here they come. One, two, three, four, and five. There. And I'll, I'll do two more. Anybody want to suggest? Uh, Austrian. Austrian, okay. Columbia. What is it? Colombia. Okay, I'll do Austria, then I'll do Colombia. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. And Colombian. One, two, three, four, and five. There. So you're at free choice. You can pick a different culture if you want uh, to come into. But you have to go into the U.S. first, which is what you've done. If you don't like what you're doing, maybe you get too much bleed through. Normally you don't get much at all. Typically you shouldn't have hardly anything. Uh, what you might have is you might be, uh, you know, walking in the streets, we'll say, and all of a sudden you sense like a laser beam coming at you. And then it goes away like that. Well, that means that you had a little bleed through from attacking the aliens. They're, they're attacking you. And then it goes away. One minute. Oh, man. So, uh, I could meet outside if you want for a little bit, uh, maybe in the lobby over here for five or ten minutes. Water charging, everybody. Mm -hmm. Anybody have any water that you want to have charged? Hold it in your hand. And this will take about a minute to do or so. So here we go. We're bringing the dolphin energies from the light ship. Uh, my website uh, has interactive healings. I have a booth here, which is number 302, the big light infusion chamber. If you haven't been in it, get in there. It's wonderful. And I'll also be here next uh, February. And so tell all your friends about being decloning. And you know, I'd like to get a room about twice the size to help people out. So here we go. Dolphins are coming. One, two, three, four, and five. Radio shows. And radio shows. Yeah, I got a lot of radio shows. It's on the website. Uh, BBS Radio is the main one that I'm on. And uh, I have. Those are on the table. Uh, yeah, in the back there, you just get some cards and stuff. Yeah. Feel your hands buzzing? Okay. Let's have some water, everybody. It should taste a little bit different for you. It'll give you what you need right now, this moment. Light only works in the now. Okay, everybody. Thank you. And uh, I'll probably be downstairs in the lobby. Okay. Thank you.